Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to create a CodePen demo that loads in GSAP. CodePen is an online code editor that allows you to create cool web demos that are easy to share. CodePen demos are especially good for creating reduced test cases when seeking support as they can be forked and edited by anyone. Let me walk you through the steps to create a new CodePen demo. First, you're going to visit CodePen.io, click on the Create button, and select New Pen. Here we get access to a new CodePen demo and we have blank HTML, CSS, and JavaScript panels. Down below we have our preview or result panel that shows us how all three of these three things get rendered. I'm just going to paste in some HTML with a few divs. Now there's nothing to see here because they're empty divs and there's no CSS applied. In the CSS panel, I'm going to paste in some CSS that I have that gives the background a color and gives these boxes size and color as well. So now I can see that I have eight green boxes and a black background here. Pretty cool. Now in order to animate these things with GSAP, I need to load in GSAP, okay? So in the JavaScript panel, I'm gonna click on this gear here, and in the search bar, I'm just going to type in tween max. You'll see that GSAP is the first result here, that's the GreenSock animation platform, and if I click on that, you'll see that we're loading in TweenMax from the CDN.js CDN. TweenMax includes TweenLight, Timeline Light, Timeline Max, CSS plugin, and basically all the core tools of GSAP that you will need on a daily basis. So I'm gonna close this off, and then in my JavaScript panel, I'm going to type in some GSAP code like TweenMax Stagger2, and you'll see that as soon as I'm done typing, we have an animation. Awesome. So what's cool about CodePen is that as you're making changes, the result is going to automatically update. So if I want to change the background color of this box to something like orange, I might just type in F60, and then as soon as I'm done typing, you'll see those boxes turned orange. Now when it comes to JavaScript though, if I want to reprocess the JavaScript and see this animation play a few more times, I don't want to have to make arbitrary changes to the code just to trigger uh, this whole panel refreshing. So what we can do is give ourselves a run button. So let's go to the JavaScript settings again, and I'm going to go to behavior, and under auto updating preview, I'm going to deselect that option right there. So then what happens is I get this run button. So now whenever I wanna see my JavaScript run again, all I have to do is click this run button, and I can see what I want. It's awesome. We strongly suggest that if you're submitting a demo to the GreenSock forums, have that run button enabled. It'll save you and us a ton of time. And speaking of the GreenSock forums, one of the reasons we love CodePen so much is that we can embed pens directly into forum posts. So here, KBeats had a little problem, and there's a demo that we can run. We can click on the JavaScript tab, see the actual code that's being used, and here you'll see our moderator, Sean, was able to fix that demo, provide a pen, that can be run and forked, and you can explore the JavaScript code all within the forums. If you want to edit the code, you just click at the Edit on Code Pen Demo button. Whenever you post a link to a code pen in the forums, they'll be automatically embedded. The GreenSock forums have over 85,000 posts and 50,000 members. It's a safe place to learn and ask your questions, so please come on by, drop us a pen, and we'll be happy to help you. Just a few things to keep in mind when submitting code pen demos for support. Keep the code as simple as possible. We often ask for a reduced test case, and that means that we don't need to see your production code, we don't need to see your real images, and we don't need to see a 100 other things that aren't related to the problem. If you take the time to reduce the code to the bare minimum of CSS, HTML, and JavaScript necessary to replicate the problem, I assure you the team will be able to help you very quickly. And often, the process of reducing your code reveals the problem to you before you even have to post it. So, please take our word, the simpler the demo, the better. Before I go, I also want to let you know that you can try all of the GreenSock bonus plugins for free on CodePen. All you gotta do is go to codepen.io slash GreenSock, scroll on down, and you'll see we have this demo here that says try Club GreenSock bonus plugins for free on CodePen, and we have a list of all of our bonus plugins. You'll just click on the copy button to grab the URL, then you can go into your own demo, go to the JavaScript panel, and paste in that URL. Also, you can go back to our profile page on CodePen, and we also have this GreenSock bonus starter template. And if you click on that, 
It's a completely blank code pen demo, but if you go into the JavaScript panel, you'll see that it loads all of the bonus plugins for you. So you can just fork this demo and code away. For more information on using the Greensock bonus plugins on CodePen, just visit greensock.com slash try plugins. We've got another video there and full instructions on using the bonus plugins. You're gonna have a blast. And before I go, I just wanna point out that these CodePen friendly URLs for the bonus plugins will also work on Code Sandbox, StackBlitz, and JS Fiddle. So you're free to try them out in your favorite environment. If you want to use these bonus plugins in one of your projects, just sign up for a membership at greensock.com slash club. Happy tweening.